Hey, this is Ben with Hyperfine Architecture. I've got a quick Revit electrical tutorial for you today. This will be how to use the new 30 by 40 Design Workshop electrical family template. I'll show you how to get these standards, families, and electrical notes and legends into your project, and a few tips and tricks on using these fun orange electrical families. This is a new template that works well with the existing 30 by 40 schematic design template. More info and all the links are in the description down below. Of course, everything I'm talking about here will work with any two projects if you're interested in transferring standards, families, sheets, that type of stuff from one project to another uh, but I'm using this 30 by 40 uh, project as an example. I've got a longer video here on YouTube about moving things from one project to another uh, so this will be a little bit of a review but we've got to do three things. First we've got to transfer our project standards over then we've got to get all the families over and then we've got to get our legends over. So let's start with the first one, project standards. I've got the 30 by 40 electrical project open. I also have a brand new Revit project and so in the new project I'm gonna go up to manage transfer project standards and then I'll copy from the 30 by 40 electrical project and I'm just gonna check all because I just want to make sure everything gets overridden and I'll hit OK it'll ask me some of these things are duplicated so they exist in the new project and the old and I'll just say overwrite and it'll take a minute and then everything will get transferred over so it's transferred all the standards over not much has changed you can see that the elevation marks turned orange but now we have in this new project all our standards so this includes things like text types uh, line styles, line weights, view templates, things like that, graphical things. So, for instance, if we go to our view templates, you can see that you've got the new 30 by 40 electrical plan template. Um, if I try to draw a detail line, you can see I've got a couple new line types that are 30 by 40 standard for electrical plans. Same thing with text. If I try to add some text, I've got 30 by 40 text types in there. So the next thing we'll do is our legends. This will help transfer the legends over and the families. Now, if you are in Revit 2021 20, or later, it's super easy. You just select them, copy them, and paste them into the new project. Um, I'm in 2019, so I can't do that, so I've got to do it the manual way, which I'll show here. But uh, if you're in 2021, just copy and paste, and you're done. So the manual way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our new project. I'll right-click, create a new legend. I'll call it Electrical Symbols. and I'll keep it at a quarter inch. I'll come back into our project file. I'll just double click into the legend. I'll select everything. I'll come into the new project and I'll paste. And so now all this stuff is in here. The families are in here, the text, the lines, all this stuff. Real quick, we'll hit visibility graphics. We'll turn off walls and so that'll delete the walls. All these outlets are hosted on walls and so they show up in the legend. So now this legend is here in your project and all these families are here. So if we go say to our floor plan and hit CM to place a component, you can see now all these electrical families are in here. The only two that didn't transfer over are this wall mounted swing arm light and the track heads and that's just because I couldn't get them to look correct in the legend so I just drew them with lines. So I'll show you a different way to get those two specific families into your project. If we come back to our, our template file, our project file, you can see up on the floor plans, I've got the sample electrical floor plan. I also have this thing called electrical family farm. And what that is is just a view that has, it's off to the side and it's cropped, and it has all those same families that are in the legend, plus these two families right here. So if we just select those, copy those, and paste them over, now those ones are in the project. Error was just saying that that swing arm light needed a wall to get hosted to and there's no wall, but you can see if I build a wall and I can place that swing arm light. So these are now in your project as well. This family farm is also a good thing to use just to sort of see the naming conventions as you're getting used to what families these are. So, you know, you'll hit CM to place a component, but then you've got to sort of figure out what they are. You can either search or you can just come over here and sort of see what the families are. So the receptacle is called 30 by 40 receptacles. You check there and then you've got the different types for waterproof, USB, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So you would repeat that process. Um, you did with the symbols, repeat that process for the general notes. And the only other thing is the title block. So you can either select, copy and paste it, or we can hit edit family, load into project and load that into your new project. Hit OK and then just come and click new sheet and select the 30 by 40. And that's it for transferring all these families and notes and standards into your project. Uh, you'll see that we've got two sample floor plans. The first is an electrical floor plan, which if you like doing your 
electrical plans on a floor plan background, uh, which is what I do and sort of the method Eric demonstrates. He's got a great video here on YouTube about how he does lighting and electrical plans. But this will give you a feel for the light placements and the type of notes to use and the lines and that type of thing. And it's got a view template called 30 by 40 electrical plan. We also have a view template that can be applied to actual RCPs here in Revit. So if you like doing your lighting plans on an RCP, we've got a view template for that as well. Um, and a sample uh, a sample plan to give you the same thing. You can look at the placement, the lines, the notes, etc. And finally, just a couple notes on the families. First, the outlets. We've given you a couple types standard. If you want to make a new one, you can just select any outlet, edit type, duplicate it. Let's say you want to make a GFI outlet. So call the new one GFI. And then up here where the label is, just type in whatever you want to call it. And now you've got a new GFI outlet. Then you can go and add that over into your uh, legend. The directional lights, if you edit the type, you can see it's just got a uh, check mark for directional on or off. So they're the same family. This one just has the direction on. And if you want to change the direction it's pointing, just space bar around. And last but not least, this track bar family or this track lighting, um, you can pull it larger or shorter depending on how long you need it to be. Those parameters right here, you can also change the spacing if you want those lights to be spaced further apart. Uh, the minimum it can be based on how the family is made is two foot six, um, but you can make the spacing shorter if you want to make it look more even. And that is it for the 30 by 40 electrical template user's guide. If you got any questions, please uh, contact me through my website, hyperfinearchitecture.com. And if you are interested in learning more about Revit for residential architecture, check me out, hyperfinearchitecture.com slash Revit.